Hey there everyone, this is Danielle starting a playthrough of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I love this game. It's it's a it's very, very precious and amazing and special and it is now much easier to play because you don't have to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars or whatever to get the GameCube disc, which is a collector's item. Uh it's just available on the Switch now, so you can just play it on the Switch. <laughs> um, we're gonna do that. Uh, just jump on in. Um, so, yeah, the original game is from 2004. Uh, this has been released exactly 20 years later, 2024. I'm not sure when in 2004 it was originally released, but yeah. This version does feature a remixed um, soundtrack. I may end up turning on the badge that swaps it back to the original soundtrack. There is an option to do that. You have to get a certain badge. I will, I will get the badge, but I don't know if I'll turn it on, so we will see. Uh, anyway, let's just get going. Um, one downgrade here is that you can't name the files. Um, in the original game, you had these four files, but you could choose to, like, put names on them if you wanted, but you can't do that anymore. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> but yeah, that was a thing you could do in every, in the first three games, like, uh, Paper Mario, Thousand New Draw Super. You couldn't do it in Sticker Star, and you haven't been able to do it since. Uh, let's get going. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. Awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. The stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. When the town's site no longer held relics of the past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in. An ancient city lay deep underground, and a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Roadport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the key town of Roadport, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts. This game is so pretty. <laughs> Finally! I have a minute without Toad's worth watching over me. He's so paranoid. Oh, by the way, um, this version of the game adds those little Banjo Kazooie style blah 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 uh, when people are talking. It's not actually voice acted, but it does have that little sound effect, which is cute. Uh, the original game didn't do that. Come all the way here on holiday, and I'm to be stuck with Toad's worth. So stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But I've been doing it. All I see is that this town has a very distinct flavor. Oh, missy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you buy something? Yeah, 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 yeah. A wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this special favorite. Oh, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? Yeah, 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 yeah. This box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. The box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. I can't open it because I'm a villain. As 
you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as me touches it. Oh. The box will open for you, Missy, and you may have whatever is inside. <laughs> Go on. The box is open. Mario House. Hi, Kara Kari. Mail call. Check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? <clears throat> now, let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came to possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Roadport. But since it would be too difficult for me to go try, to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. What are you at Roadport? That means you must come. Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Up. Little <gasps> Mario, the thousand year door. So in the original, um, that scene with the book and Peach and stuff um, would uh, would play on the title screen if you left it sitting for a bit. Um, it wouldn't advance. It, it when you started the game, it would start at the scene at Mario's house. Um, here they've tweaked it so that it always plays that scene first, apparently. Uh, and then you get the prologue thingy, a rogue's welcome, and this is pretty much the same. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. <laughs> you see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. I must apologise, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogue on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry. There's a princess waiting here for you. That's so. Uh, uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. And say I didn't warn you. And now we're Mario. Uh, that's pretty much exactly how the game starts in the original as well. Uh, it just, you know, it looks a bit nicer now. Uh, you start with a hammer and a jump, and this is new. Uh, you can hammer in different directions now. Uh, in the original game, you can only hammer horizontally. So if you were facing like backwards and you hit hammer, it would turn you face that way first, basically. Um, but yeah, you can hammer any direction now. Uh, this is pretty much the same as it used to be. Uh, I 
think these are new, the art gallery and sound gallery. Uh, we can't do anything with them just yet. You can see, won't do anything. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're cool. Uh, and we've got the map here. This is not new either. Uh, it's the same map that we just saw a little while ago. Uh, and let's get started. Hello. Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. Hit this block to save all the events you've experienced so far. You get a game over or you start playing again from the title screen. You continue from the last point you save. Anytime you find a block like this in your adventure, be sure to hit it to save. I believe the save block in the original game had like a do you want to save yes no prompt. Uh, this is the way it works in later games like Origami King, just hit the block, it goes saving. What you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Oh, your money? Or is she your girlfriend? Hey! What do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, come off it. I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I have seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking. So be a good little student and tell us what you know. Right. Now. Never! I don't have anything to say to you, creep. Ugh! Rose wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it! No, stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream! Really? Another fight? I swear, you hardly get through a morning stretch before someone throws a punch in this town. <laughs> Looks like another dust up among rogues. Blokes in this town have fuses too short by half. In times of violence like these, you gotta hit that, give that save block a whack to save your progress. But the thing about life is, you never know when you see that big game over screen. You get me? <laughs> Ho 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 ho! Out of the way, you scallywag! Move your ever loving bones! I can't really do the voices, I'm, but I'm having fun, so that's all that really matters. Blimey, a fight? Corkin! <laughs> Ain't nothing so fun as watching a few blokes juke it out in broad daylight, eh? Am I right, mate? Yikes, it's like trouble over there. Probably best not to get involved, huh? I wouldn't matter what other people's problems in this town, even if I had an extra life. Uh, so this is more or less the same as before. Uh, there is one little thing you couldn't do in the GameCube version, which is this. Pretty much every NPC in the game will react to being hammered now. <laughs> Did not happen in the original game, but it does now. <laughs> like I'd go anywhere with smelly losers like you. Hm, not likely. Well. What do you think you're doing, chump? Think you can screw up my plans? Oh. Always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumper bomb. Can't play this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details, just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. So this works pretty much identically. Um... Yeah. Wait, you know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Try the hammer as well. Got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Yeah. 
Yeah, you did it, you did it. Yes, and you got star points. That's what those little things are, star points. The star points you get will show up there. When you get 100 points, you go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Oh, yeah! <laughs> okay, you got a couple decent shots there, and I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Punish him. Quick, this way! Phew, what a bunch of bozos. Let's just sneak out of here, what do you say? Oh yeah, I think the characters having back-facing graphics like this is new. Um... They look nice. But mm. huh? Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see him? Did anyone? Ah, oh, crud. They bolted. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks! I have just got to give you a little reward. Oh. Oh, Goomba? My name's Goombella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? Oh, yes. Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? <laughs> I mean, I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. Uh, that's an added detail. Um, the little fight in the background was always there, but the part where they actually stop and look at it is new. <laughs> I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this where there weren't some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 Bucko! What do you got there? Oh my gosh! Is is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? <laughs> Great hoogly boogly. But isn't Master Mario? <laughs> Bit of a coincidence bumping into one in this sort of place. Hmm? Ho ho! So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you this wretched little bug? Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Pete sent you a letter and a treasure map. I told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing. Oh, yeah. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. Something's town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my heart off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished! You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I assume she'd back momentarily. But at this point, I feel we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely! But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. Thanks, Toadsworth. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, because if you find your HP heart points running low, just drop on in! Ho oh, ho! Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit... rough. Yes, rough, indeed. Oh, I say. Oh. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like... Peach the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? Princess who always gets snagged by Bowser, the Koopa King? The, the one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is wild! Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, really intense! Well, 
where could she have gone, do you think? I think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Hmm. Oh, oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. We'll start looking for the treasure. Maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great. All good, then. Let's go, Mario. Jim Bella joined your party. Uh, this is another change. The, um... Tutorial void here was grey in the original game. I'm not sure why it's pink now. It may only be pink for Gumbella, it might be different for each party member. Uh, we'll see. Bella's abilities. A primer. When you approach people or objects, you may see an icon appear over Gumbella's head. If that happens, you can press X to learn more about that person or object. In the original, there was no icon, you just had to sort of assume you could do it when you were near something. <laughs> Press X to learn about a person. That's Gunter the Goomba. Goomba? He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'd love to be swindled or mugged. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. Press X to learn about a location. This is Rogueport Square. It's the center of town and the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Sometimes you'll learn some interesting tidbits, praising her ability whenever you can. That concludes the little primer. I think you've mastered Goombella's abilities now. I believe this is new, I don't think they asked you this after learning a new partner's stuff. Of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle too. You can jump to attack with a head bonk or look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her cattle ability. And she's cute as fuck. <laughs> First, we're gonna go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks like this. I don't know how to pronounce Professor Frankly's graphic. Yes. Oh, before I forget to mention it, from here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, try pressing ZL. That'll be my cue to share any info I know, which we might help us figure out what to do next. Cutting phase off. Ah, uh, that's new as well. There wasn't a hint button. I was Professor Frank Frankly, I know he lives somewhere in town. Uh, but like the game wasn't super hard to figure out anyway, so that button's not super important. <laughs> uh, this this is not new, there was already a noose. Uh, the new thing, if I can jump in the right spot, to really demonstrate it, is that you can actually bump into the noose now and like knock it around a little bit. Uh, which you couldn't do in the original, it didn't have that. Um, it didn't have, like, physics when you jumped at it. So, um, it made this a little bit more morbid, almost, because, you know, it's encouraging Mario to jump up towards a noose. <laughs> um, hello. Oops, hello. I'm looking for this guy who defrauded me with a fake, fake credit card the other day. Find that jerk, give him a wallop for me. Let's get into the Goomba. He looks grumbling at getting ripped off. Must be easy to con. Which isn't to say that we should con him, of course. You smell that? That smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeedy. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. Is that guy's mass a million? I guess I have propositions that might make him loot. His nose for opportunity, you could really do well in the straight business world. I guess no one in Rogue Four is really cut out for the suit and tie life. Look, you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? Press R, you can check your current HP. Can't believe you didn't know that. If you have low HP, you ought to go rest in an inn so you recover. Use your head. Uh, so, pressing R is this. It pops up, like, all the statuses around the sides of the screen. Uh, it was the Z button on the GameCube, but it's, like, the same position. That, that's the button you would use anyway. Um, under my face, there's the number of coins we have, which is 100. Uh, you don't really need to check that, so I'm, I'm not going to move my face, it's fine. <laughs> that guy's a local Goomba. He gives you advice and stuff, so he's okay. It to might, totally might come in handy, so you want to talk to him as often as possible. <laughs> That's frankly. Actually, I think a guy by that name was over on the east side. Just go east from here. I even a town from the harbour, just hang a right. So, uh, what about him? This guy steal something important from you, or what? That's a lazy Dugan. He hunts shady jobs that he expects to pay well. 
but he's never done an honest day's work in his life. What a piece of work. Yeah, Gumbella's kind of judgmental. Uh, that's not new, she always did that. Um, I believe, yeah, we can hammer Gumbella if we wish. Or whatever, you know, friend we have walking with us. There's not really a reason to do that, but you can do that. <laughs> uh, we'll hit the save block. Uh, there is some stuff back there we can look at, but for the time being, I'm just going to advance to the next bit. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking half hour episodes. I think that's what I was doing before, anyway. Oops! Pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Guy bumps into you and just runs off like that? Unbelievable. Some people are so rude. Like me. <laughs> He's pulling another card trick. He's there making tons of loot. Somebody started telling me he came in here to hide out for a while. Don't tell me when you saw me here, or I'll bonk you. We actually want to go find that guy, because we want our coins back. Um... In the original game, it actually popped up a message from Gumbella saying, Hey, that guy stole half of your coins, but maybe I need to walk a bit further? I don't know. Hang on, let me just see. I just want to, just want to practice out. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like you get that prompt anymore. Hmm. It did pop up the coin thing, uh, like, under my face. So, and, like, I know that that's what happens. The guy steals half of the coins, but... I'm kind of surprised that it didn't, like, let me know, hey, go get your coins back. I believe he's in here. Bandage who's made this place his hideout. Seems like he totally loves this place, but could it kill him to clean up a bit? <laughs> Oops! Uh, that's meeting you here. <laughs> You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. And it went back, went back up to 100. Um. It doesn't really matter. Coins aren't super important in this game, unless you're doing like a low coins run or something. It doesn't really affect much that he takes half of them. Um, you do have to spend coins for healing and stuff, but the game is reasonably generous with coins. You're not going to run out. Okay, uh, on we go. Uh, we're coming up on about a half hour now, so I might just chat with a couple more guys and then just... Hey, you big old root. Ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go wild and attack. Be careful, live longer. That's Goomfrey the Goomba. He looks kind of shady, I guess, but he's cool. People call him a fixer. You know, a guy that can make any problem just go away. Neat. Um, I believe we can also... Yeah, we can check on Goombella's info now. Goombella is a smart, if sassy, Goomba girl. She hopes to be an archaeologist one day. Press X to ask her about where you are or about enemies you meet in battle. She checks with headbonks. Um, oh, I think this is new. Check action command. Neat. Head bonk. Press A for putting an enemy. Uh, it's the same thing as Mario's jump, but she, you know, uses her head. Uh, Tattle. Yeah, um, Tattle didn't have an action command in Paper Mario and, um, N64, but it has one in Thousand Year Door, which is this. You have to press A at the right time. Uh, got it there. We can also have a look at the controls here. They're pretty much the same as the original game, uh, except that there's a few extra buttons added in, like the partner hint button, uh, which wasn't in the original. Um, just a couple more things you could, that you couldn't make it a little friendlier, I suppose. Uh, HP, FP, BP, that's all normal. Yeah, we're coming up in a half hour, so I probably don't want to actually talk to Professor Frankly just yet. I'll do that next video, but we've gotten started. We'll grab that, though. A star piece. A lovely piece of a star. So, um, star pieces are hidden pretty much everywhere in the game. In the original, uh, they were used as a currency to buy rare badges, uh, which are good. You want, you want the rare badges. Um, in this one, I think they're used for that... But they're also used 
Uh, with these gallery things? As you can see, it says collect all the star pieces. Star pieces in and under row port to unlock. So, like, that's an extra bonus for getting every star piece, I suppose. Uh, Gumbella's title log is completely empty. This is not new either. There was a title log in the original. Um... But yeah, um, that's kind of all I got for the time being, so I'm just going to hit the save block again and call out a video. Uh, next time we will go into Professor Franklin's house, which is uh, this one here with his face on it, uh, and talk to him. <laughs> but yeah, I'm taking things slow and just getting, getting acclimatized to the new game. <laughs> Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed! Bye!